Thank you and good afternoon. Uh, for today's update, uh, we have 25 new cases who have tested positive in our numbers today um, here in British Columbia, bringing our total of uh, test positive cases to 1,724. Um, that includes 707 people in the Vancouver Coastal Health Region, 715 in the Fraser Health Region, 109 people now on Vancouver Island Health, 153 in the Interior Health Region, and 40 people in the Northern Health Region. We have no new uh, long-term care facility outbreaks today. Uh, we are now up to 319 uh, cases in long-term care or assisted living. Um, with 20 uh, outbreaks ongoing still in our long-term care and assisted living facilities and one associated with a unit in acute care facility. Oh, uh, we're up to uh, 76 people who are uh, associated with the Mission Federal Correctional Facility, including 65 inmates and 11 staff. In addition, I've uh, uh, talked about um, our concerns about uh, workers who have returned from working in the Curl Lake project in uh, northern Alberta. Uh, we have no new people to identify, but I just want to reiterate the importance of anybody who has worked at Curl Lake since um, the end of March that we are asking you, uh, requiring you uh, to self-isolate for 14 days after your return and recognizing that some people may have already been back for more than 14 days. If you do have symptoms or some of your close contacts have symptoms that might be associated with COVID-19, to connect with 811 or to call your local public health or your primary care provider so we can have you assessed and tested if needed. Um, in addition, we have now 109 people who are hospitalized with COVID-19 here in BC, including 51 people in critical care and ICU. We have one additional death to report since our last reporting period. Another one of our seniors, our elders, who uh, has passed away from a long-term care facility outbreak in Vancouver Coastal Health. Our family, uh, our thoughts go out to the family and to the caregivers of this person. There are 1,041 people who are considered fully recovered from COVID-19 in BC. In addition today, I want to uh, uh, um, let people know about an additional outbreak that has been identified in the Vancouver Coastal Health Region at the United Poultry Company in Vancouver. Uh, a number of employees have tested positive. This came to light over the weekend when Vancouver Coastal Health was investigating one of the community cases that had been uh, identified and it became apparent there were a number of other people in the workplace who were positive and we now have uh, up to 28 employees who have tested positive for this virus. Not all of those people are included in today's numbers as some of the testing was done yesterday and will be reported over the coming days. Um, however, we did get a, an updated outbreak report from Vancouver Coastal, so I'm giving you the numbers of people that we know about right now. The plant has been closed and uh, the close contacts have been notified of the people we know and the investigation uh, with Vancouver Coastal Health leading and working with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency as this is a federally inspected plant. So the health teams um, are um, uh, doing the contact tracing and uh, investigation of this outbreak even as we speak. I do want to say that I know there will be concerns about the products that have come out of this. So this is a chicken processing plant. We don't have any evidence uh, that COVID-19 can be spread from uh, meat and from consuming of, of products like that or from packaging on, uh, on meat or uh, chicken in this case. Uh, on the other hand, we do know that poultry, um, raw poultry, can have other bacteria on it, particularly Salmonella and Campylobacter. On the other hand, we do know that poultry, um, raw poultry, can have other bacteria on it, particularly Salmonella and Campylobacter, and it's very important that people maintain the important hygiene uh, practices around handling of raw chicken, including cleaning your hands, being mindful of cross-contamination, making sure that uh, uh, poultry is cooked appropriately and making sure that you clean surfaces after handling uh, raw poultry. 
I want to talk a little bit about our goal in public health, in uh, how we're moving forward in managing the pandemic here in British Columbia over the coming weeks and months. Our goal, of course, is to do all we can to limit the potential for transmission and also to minimize the impact of these necessary public health measures on our communities and our families across the province. So every decision that we take about what to do, about how to lessen um, some of the restrictions, what restrictions we put in, how to manage them, and how to allow people to continue with their lives while maintaining some of the important restrictions are things that we have considered um, in, in great detail. We have stepped up in British Columbia, despite the hardships that many of these public health measures have entailed. And you have rec recognized the importance of maintaining things like our safe physical distance, being mindful of those around us, keeping our community strong, and showing that compassion and care that we can get through this together. We know that this has been hard on all of you, on all of us, both uh, mentally, emotionally, um, financially, and in some cases physically as well. I understand that this is not easy, but we can look to the future knowing that we're getting through this together, that it is not forever, but we must continue to act today. We are at that important crossroads in these, these few weeks right now, and I know you've heard this before, but every day counts and every action counts, and we look at what's happened uh, with the most recent outbreak we need to find the cases in our community. We need to contain these outbreaks so that they don't spread. And when we are maintaining our distances, these unrecognized transmissions don't spread widely. We don't get those explosive outbreaks that we've seen in some other communities. But this remains incredibly important right now. This virus continues to circulate in our communities around the province, and sometimes it's unknown. It's unknown because we may not recognize that we're sick, or we may have that, that um, feeling that we need to go into work, that we need to be um, present to take care of the essential business that we're doing and overcome those symptoms that we have. Right now it is so important for those of us, for all of us, to recognize in ourselves and in those we are working with. If you have a respiratory illness, stay home. If you have a cough, if you have the sniffles, if you're feeling unwell, stay home. That is the most important thing that we need to continue to do within our communities, our families, and our businesses right now. The other important things, of course, are maintaining that safe distance cleaning our hands regularly, maintaining um, our clean, cleanliness in our environment, particularly those high-touch areas. Getting back to work is something that we are all looking forward to. We are looking ahead and thinking about getting back to school, getting back to seeing our family and our friends again. But now is the time to start thinking about how do we do this safely with our precautions in place and making sure we have those in place to protect those who are most likely to have severe illness from this disease, particularly our elders and our seniors, our younger populations who have underlying health conditions like diabetes or immune suppression, who are going through cancer treatments, people with heart disease. We are all um, at risk if we start um, transmitting this virus in our community. And we know that if we become sick and we pass it on, the people that we are closest to are the ones that are more likely to be affected. So our focus needs to ensure that the storm has lessened and passed before we let up on our restrictions. But to our workers, our entrepreneurs, our business owners, they can join the essential workers who have done so much these past weeks to keep our economy going, to keep our uh, essential services, the things we need in place as this wave has passed. Every time people step into our classroom, into, onto a construction site, or into a hospital and do it safely right now, know that we appreciate all that you are doing. We need to stay vigilant, we st need to stay connected, and we need to stay committed to this. We will find our new normal in the coming weeks, but it is not yet the time to lessen our guard. We need to continue to get through this together by remaining kind to each other, remaining calm, and staying safe.